they are working in the industry. In his prime, Roberto would train four hours a day. Now he can do 30 minutes. I'm like a 90% away. So you're only at 10% of maximum capacity. Yeah, that's right. My body is not reacting as it used to because Parkinson's and age. The Winter Olympics are still three years away. He'll use that time to build himself up. And if he finishes enough races, he can qualify for Beijing 2022, making him the first to ever compete in the Olympics with Parkinson's. He's not in search of gold, but a cure. It's not about winning. It's just about bringing all the people in your back and cross the, cross the finish line together. Steve Overmeyer, our storyteller, is yeah. uh, here right now. And uh, this guy, he just keeps on going no matter what he has to face. That's what I love about this. This was just a month ago where he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And for some